Hi everyone, Matt here again with Chelsea Guitar Maintenance and Repair. Uh, today I was going to do a quick video on uh, how to combat binding of the string at the nut. Um, you know, a lot of guitars have this problem, I think specifically uh, 3 plus 3 guitars like this one uh, with the split headstock uh, are more known for this specifically on the 3rd and 4th strings because there's so much angle as the string crosses the nut, it comes over to the tuner and it creates this this angle, which you know adds a bit more friction uh, here at the nut. And there's a few things you can do about that. Uh, the first thing is probably something that a lot of people have heard of and maybe done, uh, and that is graphite. So I'm just going to loosen this string, lift it out of the nut slot, and move it to the side just as a demo. Um, so you can get uh, I like to use a mechanical pencil for this. You can get a mechanical pencil and go right down in the nut slot and just draw some graphite in there. And that's perfectly fine. You can put your string back, tighten it back down, you're good to go. Um, if you don't have any graphite or just want to try something different, another thing you can do, and some people prefer, you can actually use a uh, lip balm, uh, some type of petroleum product. This one actually is um, beeswax based, which is a nice uh, natural wax that you can put in there. It's not going to harm anything. I just apply it with a toothpick. Get a little bit on the end of the toothpick, apply it in there. And yeah, you can also use it with graphite to kind of let them both work. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, so I've already got some graphite in that slot. I'm just going to add a little bit of that wax. And again, you can tighten it back up the exact same way. Uh, moving on from there, the next thing you can do is actually try a different nut material. Uh, the nut on this guitar is actually a Graftec Tusk nut, which has some anti-friction material built into the uh, built into the nut itself. And I really like these. I think they're great products. Um, I'm not going to get into how changing the nut might make your guitar's tone change, etc. Uh, but these specific nuts are, are made to reduce friction and prevent that binding. Uh, and even one more step further, uh, kind of the fourth thing that you can do is file the nut differently. So one thing that I do uh, on, you know, whenever I custom fit nuts to guitars and that's if you're going to change the nut, it's got to be fit. You're not just going to stick an, an aftermarket nut on a guitar. Uh, you've got to do some work to it. Uh, and one thing that I do is I actually refile all of the nut slots. And what I do is I, for one, make sure that the angle, the, the break angle over the nut is a nice smooth transition. I don't want it to go completely straight and then the string breaks sharply over the back side of the nut. I like to file a sort of smooth curve to it, uh, which is sort of g gives the the string of the sort of smooth change uh, down to this new break angle. The other thing I like to do is specifically on the third and fourth strings is I angle after the string comes over the nut on the initial part I leave it straight for a millimeter or two uh, depending on the nut you know I do it differently on different nut styles but specifically on a three plus three headstock third and fourth strings I'll let it break straight or I'll let it pass straight over the nut to start and then as it breaks down to the new headstock angle, I actually angle the nut slot toward the tuner. So the fourth string would be angled toward this tuner. Third string would be angled toward this tuner. And I just sort of help guide a nice smooth, smooth change from the straight string here down over the break and over uh, to the tuning peg. Um, so those are four things you can do to try to reduce or prevent uh, any binding that happens uh, from the, uh, the strings crossing the nut going to the headstock. Hope it helps, and I'll talk to you guys next time.